And last up, this was a good question from Young, and it, it all goes about exit strategy. So let's jump in the office real quick, and I'll answer that. All right, everybody, welcome back to the office. So uh, for the question today, it was a pretty good one. This one comes to me from Young, and Young says, uh, "Hey Rob, I was wondering if you might consider doing a video on how you might demonstrate an exit strategy." I was looking around at your exit strategy spreadsheet and it gives a good guideline to how one might determine at what price point to do some profit taking. You know, uh, if you don't, if you're not aware in the description of every one of my videos, there is an exit strategy uh, spreadsheet. And what I do is I go over uh, different uh, exit strategies for, for Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum and XRP. Uh, so check that out. Uh, but really, Yong is right here because she says this is really good to determine as far as like uh, all time highs for what we do uh, historically. But this year, there are things just going way above all time highs. So, you know, how do we do this? Uh, anyhow, she goes, I realized uh, that the exit price point is personal, but it'd be great if you can share some of your wisdom uh, on how one might derive at this. And maybe we start a good discussion from others to chime in the comment comments for people to get some ideas. Uh, Chico Crypto did an exit strategy video about a week ago. And he provided some good points, one being moving some of his profits to USDC and DAI, although he's more inclined to go with USDC. I am too, especially because of the interest rates you can get. Uh, he does point out some issues with USDC. Uh, so if you could do that, that'd be great. So, so here's the thing. Um, specifically, if we take a look at Chainlink. Chainlink, doing pretty darn good, right? Uh, so right now, we are way above its all-time high. Uh, I remember when I was doing a video just a couple of weeks ago. And, it, and I said, hey, look, if, um, if Chainlink goes above $9, I know that it's never hit that point and uh, it's going to be, uh, it's, you know, way above its all-time high. Now today, I think we're almost, we're knocking on the $18 range. So, you know, who knows? So in these situations, um, we can't look at historical data to take a look at what's going to happen. So for this one, what I would say like this is yesterday we did a video and we talked about, it was from uh, the My Crypto Wallet uh, co-founder, and she had talked about uh, what you should do is not chase all these different crazy uh, coins, just go with what you have, and along the way, make sure that you take profits, because you never know what could happen, which is, is a really good point. I mean, right now, look, Chainlink can go up to, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, honestly, because like even, even the comment section, someone said, hey, Rob, what's your prediction? I was like, I don't know, twenty dollars in a year, and that could be, you know, twenty dollars in a year. It, it could be twenty dollars in a day today. Uh, we have no idea. So the big thing is from yesterday. If if she's talking about taking profits, and I told you it was sage advice, um, I should really be doing that. So what I'm going to do is this. Uh, I think right now, just to make sure that I stay ahead of the curve, uh, once it hits below nineteen, if it, if it I, I'm pretty sure it's going to go above eighteen. I'm not gonna wait for it to hit 19 because everybody waits for round numbers. And I had talked about this in my exit strategy. There, everybody's waiting for $19, $20, uh, $25, whatever it is, to start to cash out. The same thing with Bitcoin. Once you saw 10,000 hit, you saw uh, a lot of sell orders get that were, that were put in that were already there and people just started to take profit. So uh, this was a, a strategy I learned from Mr. B and he had talked about use some very, um, uh, irregular numbers. So like instead of waiting for $19, uh, I'm going to wait, I'm going to go for like $18 and uh, uh, 73 cents or something like that. Or uh, before I hit 20, I'm going to go for $19 and 52 cents or, or whatever it is, but something kind of like irregular. So I think for the chain link, again, I don't know where I can go, but to take a little bit of profits for right now, I'm going to start off with 10% just to see how it goes. That's a very uh, conservative number. I think I should be okay. And uh, some somebody had made a, made mention of well, why cash out in the dollars because you know the dollar bill is just going to get gonna, it's just going to get weaker. It, it's already weakened uh, globally. I don't think it's going to ever stop being the reserve currency for quite some time. But um, I thought okay, that's a pretty good idea. So so why cash out in dollars right now? Why not just cash out in the USDC and use Voyager or Celsius and get um, uh, interest? Uh, the APR is between like six and eight percent somewhere around there. Now I don't think. If you're an American citizen, you live in America, I don't think you can deposit USDC to Celsius. Check me if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. Uh, but I know you can do it with Voyager. So uh, with Voyager, I will probably cash out and put my USDC on Voyager and let it sit there and then go from there. Now, again, don't leave um, too much on these hot wallets because you never know what could happen. Uh, put things in your Nano and then go from there. So I think uh, to start off with 
10%, and then uh, we'll see where everything goes. So, so Yong, I will uh, update with a more, uh, more en engrossing exit strategy as time comes on, but uh, that's what I have for today. All right, let's jump back. All right, that's it. So I want to say thanks for sticking with me through everything. I really appreciate it. Um, I also want to do a quick random shout outs. If you don't know, there's a join now tab underneath. Uh, you, if you join, you don't get anything special. It's just like a tip. It's like a buck 99. And uh, so what I do is I just give random shout outs to all the new ones and uh, all the existing ones. So Carlos Gomez, Nostromo, which I think is droplet, not for sure. Uh, also, we got uh, Eli Karchoff. Who else we got? Eric Mikeko. That's a good one. Sean Thompson, Jimmy G, thank you so much, Jimmy. Albert Allery and uh, <laughs> Duckburg, great. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks a lot. Uh, if you like these types of videos, there's gonna be two that's gonna pop up to your left and right. I have no idea what they are. Uh, YouTube is in control of that, just like uh, the advertisements you have seen in the beginning, middle, and probably end of this of this video. So uh, if you have a problem with those, those videos or those uh, ads, if they're scams, don't blame the messenger. Uh, go talk to YouTube. And that's it. So thanks a lot. See you on the next one.